Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Marriage Mending Mondays. Marriage Mending, Mending Mondays is a tongue twister and it is going to share uh, some insight into how to improve your marriage. You know, bad communication can ruin your marriages. If you have a bad communication, you can take a perfectly good marriage and then ruin it. So how can we try our best to avoid this. I'm going to share with you three tips, three tips on how you can make sure that you don't fall into this, you don't ruin a good marriage. And sometimes right now in the, in the middle of a pandemic, all relationships are under stress. And I talk to people on a daily basis, people that I'm working with, couples that are struggling especially now and even marriages that were going perfectly well perfectly well they are now under a lot of stress because of the lockdown and so we need to make sure that we approach this in the right way now what usually happens is when a spouse is upset about something they want to approach it and the mindset is I'm right, you're wrong, I'm here to change you, okay? And what does this lead to? It leads to a lot of defensiveness. It leads to a person feeling attacked, feeling like they are not good enough, they feel inadequate. And so all the defenses come up, there's no readiness for understanding. So how do you avoid this? The way to avoid it is to come in, first seek to understand then be understood. This is a very huge paradigm shift because if you come in and let's say it's a topic that you've been arguing about with your spouse for a while now, whether it's where you're going to live, what about the schooling of the kids, it may be about the in-laws, it could be about a number of things. And you come in and you ask your spouse, you say, I want to understand where you're coming from. Please help me to see your perspective. How would that person feel? How is your spouse? First of all, they're going to be like, well, what, what happened to my spouse? <laughs> where, what did you do to him, right? They would think it's a, a, a case of the body snatchers. What, what is this about you coming in and you really just want to hear my perspective? You're not here to like, let's say, change my perspective or force your way. So first of all, they're going to put their guards down because they're not going to feel attacked. Then you are telling them that I value you. I respect your opinion. You matter and your perspective is very important. So try this the next time that you go in. If you haven't been agreeing, I'm sure that there are lots of topics between husbands and wife that come up. I see this every day when I'm doing the uh, working with the couples and doing marriage coaching. I find that they come to a standstill or they fight constantly over a topic that they disagree about. And by restating their position over and over again, and no one really listening, right? No, the problem is not resolved until someone starts listening. So first go in with that mindset that you want to understand them, okay? And really put down your preconceived notions, your judgment, you know, that, that being non-judgmental is a crucial part of effective communication. You know, if I come in and I have this idea and I think I'm better or I'm, I'm smarter or I know something and you need to give up your way, you're not going to be very receptive to that, right? So we need to make sure that we come in with the right mindset, that we are non-judgmental and we try to hear the other person's perspective as bizarre as it may appear to us, okay? <clears throat> all right, Sister Sadia, welcome all of you who are joining in. But if you don't argue, and even when you seek to understand and spouse just imposes his perspective and asks you to trust, and that's that, we, sh um, we should leave it to Allah. Well, I'm not telling you to surrender. I'm not telling you to just be a submissive spouse. That's not my perspective. That's not what I stand for. It's about expressing yourself, but doing it in a diplomatic way, right? So it's about sharing and first hearing the other person's perspective. When you hear their perspective, then you are able to, first of all, one of the things that one of my client stated is that, 
what they would feel is they would feel that they are disarmed, right? They're no longer like, you know, ready to duke it out and ready to be defensive. They want to just put down their guards and actually talk. You can have a nice communication. And when you do that, then the other person's going to be much more responsive. And you need to listen to understand, not to respond. How many times are you listening listening just to know, okay, I know, I know how to rebut all this. I know how to get back at what they're saying. I have this, 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 and this to kind of back me up and I'm going to get them for uh, these things that they're saying. We are listening for a different motivation, right? We know that if your intention is to rebuttal, if your intention is to cut the other person down, then, you know, we're not handling things in in the best manner in a way that would be pleasing to Allah so if we make our intention I'm going to listen to really understand that's the whole objective of listening right I know that not many people have practiced it but it is key and you know when I was doing my master's in clinical psychology I had a whole semester long on how to listen effectively and honestly I think every person should be required to take this course right knowing how to make a person feel hurt is so important because one of the biggest complaints I get from couples is that my spouse doesn't hear me they don't listen I mean they may be listening they may be hearing but they're not really listening right so try your best that the next time you approach a discussion you listen to understand you're listening to make a connection to make amends you're not just listening to you know to fight back right and once you change your perspective your intention right the intention is i want to create bridges of understanding i want to hear my spouse and understand my um i want to understand my spouse right so the sister newer is saying what is the name of the course well i actually teach all of this in my marriage program, the five pillars of marriage. Uh, the course I took, it was, you need to be a master's in, <laughs> in clinical psychology. So I don't think it's just offered for non-degree majors, but it is, um, I teach all of the skills that I learned and I've been applying since 1998 to couples worldwide to know how to get their point across to their spouse and actually to anyone, right? So I'm talking about marriage and I'm talking about how to improve your relationship, but you can apply this to anyone. And one of the things that I hear most when, when people go through uh, my marriage program is that, oh my gosh, all my, mar all my relationships improve because we communicate with all our with everybody whether it's our children whether it's our in-laws whether it's at work so when you learn correct skills effective ways of communication then uh, all your relationships improve and so when you listen to understand it totally changes your mindset it puts their guards down and you are not attacking so i know that it's tempting i know that how many people fall into this trap of seeing something wrong and they just want to they just want to attack the person it's like you're always doing this and you're never doing this so really refrain from doing that go in with the willingness to understand their perspective put your judgments aside have an open mind have an open heart listen to understand and not to respond right and just see how effective the communication will occur when you do this on a regular basis okay and in the following lessons, every Monday I'm going to do this, inshallah, because I know that so many marriages are under attack. So many people are considering divorce and I don't want that to happen. You know, whatever, whatever you do, right? At this time that there is crisis, you're under a lot of stress. There might be financial stress. There is, you know, health issues going on. It is not a time to make a rash decision. So as, as fed up as you are, I encourage you to, you know, take one last step, try to, try to improve it before you end it. Okay. And inshallah, step by step, as you learn the marriage skills, as you apply these things within yourself, you're going to see an improvement 
in your relationship inshallah so thank you so much for tuning in and uh, and inshallah i will see you i'm going to be doing these at 12 30 inshallah tomorrow is going to be transformational tuesday i'm going to talk to you about how to transform yourself how to be a better version of yourself so inshallah you tune in and i hope that all of us can become better and stronger even during a crisis. Jazakallah khairan for tuning in. Salaam alaikum.